Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome back to another educational video of WikiHow. Sorry, no it's not. Contrary to popular belief, WikiHow is in fact always on my mind. I love making WikiHow videos. I always have. WikiHow has been with me since before my channel even started. I loved the craziness, the silliness of those articles, which is what ultimately led to me making review videos on them way back when. I have been away from them for a while, have I not? It's been over a year now, and I keep saying I'm going to work on them, and then I, and then I don't. So sometimes to kind of get the creative juices flowing, I check back on my old videos and see what really gave me that inspiration in the first place. And I was going back and watching some of my first reviews, which is really weird. It's always odd to see where you were four plus years ago, I didn't link all the articles in my videos. I only did it for the very first one, which is how to win a Nerf war, a classic. But out of curiosity, I did click on that link since I had posted there and I found something kind of disappointing. It's gone. My original WikiHow video, not the video itself, sorry, the article, the article that that video is based off of, it's gone. Okay, well, sorry, it's, it's more like this. How to win a Nerf war. We're sorry, this article is currently in quality review. This article either has not yet passed our initial quality review process or has been flagged by a WikiHow editor for potential content concerns that would make it unhelpful to readers. Very sad day. And I don't actually know how long this has been because I remember going back and checking on this article to see what had changed over the years. I actually went back and did a re-review of the WikiHow how to make a Nerf gun out of household items because that turned out to be one of my most popular WikiHows ever. And after seeing some of the changes to that article, I then re-reacted, gave some new stuff, and I thought maybe this article would be another good one to check back in on and update you to see if anything had changed. Because if you don't remember, there are some questionable things in this article, but it's also one of the reasons that I absolutely love it. We know it's not true. We know that some of the things in that article are things you shouldn't do. So I saw that and was a bit sad because part of me feels like that's my fault. There are a number of reasons why an article might go into review. My videos for WikiHow took off a lot on my channel. They're the first big series on my channel that got a lot of extra views and ultimately what helped grow my channel in the very beginning. So some of you might be here from those initial reviews. Perhaps some people then felt the need to go in and comment on the original articles and then get it taken down. Whatever I do put out will put extra eyes on a certain article and it will then change forever. Maybe it will change for the good. And that being, it'll actually be updated to have good information, but it won't have funny information, which is bad. You see the problem? I love to react to articles that are not great. They kind of live in this fantasy land and that's why it's fun to laugh at them. But I also at the same time, now being a slightly larger channel than even when I first made review videos, have the power to destroy them. What a weird world we live in. We really do live in a Nerf society. Um, hold on, sorry, real quick. The next sentence, if you would like to view this article even though it's in quality review, please log in or create a WikiHow account. Oh, it's that, it's that simple? Let's see right here. Well, minor false alarm. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I actually thought it was. Seriously, I did not know it was that easy to then go in and check on these things. Here's the little flag that pops up when an article is in review. This article has been tagged as a stub. That means it's off to a good start, but still has room to grow into a more helpful resource. Until this article reaches its full potential, it will be hidden from search results. Can you help it flourish? If you think the article offers complete and accurate instructions, feel free to remove this tag. I now have the power to save WikiHow articles. I am the harbinger of death and resurrection. <laughs> this is a weird feeling to have. Here it is, how to win a Nerf war. It has 186,000 views. It was last updated in March of 2021. That sounds about right. Holy smokes. 111 co-authors, 111 people worked on this article. I'm sorry. 84% of readers found this article helpful. That's very interesting, only 52 votes. And if I scan through this article really quickly, I think this is what I saw earlier in the year when I first checked in on it. 
Yes, the article has completely changed since my initial review over four years ago. That is the positive change. You know, it's actual reasonable information to the point where I don't think it would make sense to even go in and make a re-review or revisit this article because the graphics are better, the instructions are better, less questionable, dangerous advice. So in that sense, it's not actually fun to talk about that kind of article. I'm glad that it's been updated positively, but I suppose it's not even been updated enough because it's still in this state of limbo. Still, I do see holding an enemy hostage if the rules allow it. You know what, maybe this article isn't free from sin yet. Maybe there's still hope. So I apologize for being dramatic. No, my video reviewing this WikiHow article is not gone. And no, technically, this article is not completely gone. It's been changed many, many times yet it still remains in some way, shape, or form. So what's my real excuse? The biggest reason why I don't think I make WikiHow videos as often as I used to is because, oh shoot, there's another one. The pandemic made it harder to hang out with people and I really liked doing collaborative stuff for my WikiHow videos. That's another one. But the big one is actually because WikiHow was that big first series that took off on my channel. People began to really, really expect WikiHow videos from me and I really liked doing them but it got put up on this massive, massive pedestal. And so anytime I would think to try and jump back into one, I constantly fought in my mind on getting it perfect. And as I slowly upgraded my editing over the years, that mountain just seemed more and more ginormous. I've put a lot of effort into my other videos, but WikiHow still just feels like some monumental task that I will not get right or I'll let people down because that's what they expect, even though they probably don't. Any content creators out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Probably something that you're most well known for or your favorite thing to work on. And it's just this impossible ask that while well, other people would be like, oh, just, we don't care if it's the best, just put it out. And you're like, no, 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 it's not that simple. I have like four scripts, I'm not joking you, ready for WikiHow videos different articles, ones that I've never talked about, and I just haven't gotten around to filming them because of that feeling. It's tough to get in the right headspace to do a video from a series that has become so synonymous with your YouTube channel. And again, if you are here from those initial WikiHows, or maybe you've seen some recently, because I do constantly get comments on my WikiHow videos, thank you. I love making them, and I'm glad people have still enjoyed them over the years. So that's where my head is when it comes to WikiHow videos. I apologize if I've made claims that I was hoping to get to them as soon as possible because clearly that hasn't happened, but I would like to. If I do put out a WikiHow video, I'll give you my 110% best effort. Um, or I should probably get back to that grenade review because people were really unhappy that I just dropped some of those on my desk. Got a lot of negative comments from that one. Love to hear what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with another educational review. M maybe it'll be from WikiHow or maybe it will be from somewhere else.